going on, y'all? This is OBB, the Diecast yes, News Guy. Today, I'm bringing you guys with a classic NASCAR Diecast yes, review, and this is actually on a card that I picked up actually a few episodes ago on my trip to um, one of my few trips I went to Oso Race Collectibles. Which, by the way, I probably will maybe be making another trip out there again in probably the next week or two. But uh, today is going to be on a really cool diecast that really brings back a lot of good memories, especially me. Uh, being a longtime NASCAR fan, this is a car from 2001, the first year I watched NASCAR, and man, this thing is freaking beautiful. Today we're reviewing Dale Jarrett's 2001 UPS Race the Truck, or in this case, we want to race the truck uh, for Taurus for Robert Yates Racing. Holy crap, dude, the nostalgia on this car. My goodness, holy crap, man. This thing is a flat-out freaking beauty. And like I said, O-Series Collectibles had a good amount of these. I think he had like, like four or five of these in stock on the shelves. And uh, this one looks really cool, man. But as you see right there, the packaging is pretty cool. But what's really cool about this, guys, is that this is a total concept car, which means, as you can see, it's labeled as adult collectible, that there are a lot of different pieces. And, yeah, the whole chassis of this car literally comes off. So this thing is pretty much the best detail you can get on on a 164 scale die cast i think i reviewed some of these before with the tony stewart home depot car from 2002 and the uh, kevin harvick uh gm good wrench car from that year or the 03 one i think so these are definitely uh the, some of my favorites and i just love this the packaging looks really nice too kind of, kind of the same packaging uh it, it kind of has like the same designs that we have like with uh the current die cast how they go well with the paint schemes so you know that's something i always do like but that's cool that uh you know uh we kind of kept that tradition going but anyways let's go and kick up this bad boy and let's take a close look at uh the uh, let's um, go ahead and unbox this sucker and let's take a close look at the dale jared 2001 we want to race the truck car all righty guys we got this die cast out of the box and man this thing is beautiful absolutely beautiful man but we're gonna look at the little uh, trading card that comes with this which i really do like this this looks really nice you got the nice ups brown background with deal jared's name and a lot of nice logos and we got the little slogan right there that's also on uh usually on the ups trucks uh well you know the ups car but you know what i mean uh either way deal jared man you gotta love this guy and heck he just made the UPS car what it is today, just flat out fucking awesome. And there's Action Race Collectibles, the old Action Race Collectibles logo. You see right there from 2001. Yeah, it's really fucking old. <laughs> but really cool, though. But anyways, back to the die cast. Now, you guys are probably wondering, uh, this thing definitely, uh, the chassis on this car is a little raised up. Well, because we're going to be looking at, um, yeah, first of all, this thing has a working suspension. Look at some bitch. But, um... This is a really nice looking paint scheme, guys. I must admit, guys, uh, it's a shame he only drove this car once, I believe, at the 2001 Kansas race and got into a very, very nasty incident uh, going three wide, I think, uh, for a pass. Um, yeah, he just he went three wide, I think, on Bobby Levante and Rick Craven, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, DJ, I mean... <laughs> Going three wide of Kansas, especially coming out into a turn like that. Yeah, that just wasn't really smart. But it was a pretty vicious wreck. But I believe that that is the only time he drove this car, which sucks. Ended up, you know, in the, uh, I guess you could say the race car graveyard. But I absolutely just love this, guys. And you, you guys can see on camera how shine, the, where the brown is, guys. The brown, you would mistake this for like a liquid color. But no, the brown, I believe this is what the brown was. If you guys were acting, if it, it, first of all, if any of you guys we're watching nascar in 2001 you guys are the real mvp because heck we're in the same boat that was my first year watching nascar so this thing has a nice soft spot for me um but this is just a beauty man i i just love you guys know me i love the bright vibrant color alert colors so you know the flames on this thing makes this thing look really nice and mean i mean look i mean jeff gordon was the only guy that made the flames uh you know that that made the flames good looking in 2001 i mean <laughs> but goodness gracious man um this thing's beauty me i love the yellow and the bright vibrancy and that brown guys i mean usually i mean there's only the ups is the only brand i know that could do brown right that and probably m ms probably um you know better chocolate schemes but uh, i absolutely just love this uh nice uh i mean just look how the, look at this it's like a like a like a nice um it's like it's like it's like kind of like a chrome finish a little bit where the gold is man look at that thing that thing is shiny as hell i mean it's gonna be a fingerprint man a magnet i will say that but that thing is just beautiful. Oh my god, look at that thing. I even see a freaking reflection out of me, man. Goodness gracious. The rims look nice as well with the nice yellow outlines. Um, and of course, like I said, this thing has some great details. You can see right there, the hood is loose because guess what? This thing actually has a lot of working parts. 
<laughs> look at that guys look at that nice beautiful engine block i mean so many great details we got there the classic four tours uh who uh in the comments below actually likes the four tours molds uh feel free to let me know but look at this guys you want to see the best part now but bam look at that some bitch right there the total concept carves these things are really cool not only i mean look at that guys look at this they kind of giving you guys the illusion that this thing is like gold or something i mean look at that finish goodness gracious that is beautiful that's pretty impressive that like, they really didn't have to make this like uh, like that that the, um this this is the actual paint for the die cast mold it's like this uh this chrome um it looks gold on camera but it's that brown like i told you guys that is just freaking amazing dude really really superb quality we got right here from actually collectibles and speaking of good quality guys look at this guys we got ourselves look at this got the all the air all the air hoses the air vents the fire extinguisher look at this guys even a nice little detail where the dash is i mean these total concept cars are so freaking cool and if you see any one of these cars um it doesn't have to be the dale jr car but any of these cars that say total concept on them this is what you expect and i think i only paid like what like what like three or four dollars for this which is a fucking steal i mean with the detail you got on these things i mean goodness gracious i mean a lot of companies out there like now are pretty damn cheap to make something like this even if we did i mean they would probably half ass it like they always do but um this is just beautiful man i absolutely just love the detail on this thing just beautiful and i believe we this is actually i believe this is a metal chassis or a plastic chassis if i'm not mistaken it does feel a lot more sturdier, so I'm going to say it's like a hybrid of those two. I don't know. It might be metal because it's giving off a nice reflection. So, um, look at this, guys. Even uh, the, the, bottom of, uh, the bottom of this thing is freaking detailed to heck. But now we're going to go ahead and... Oh, you want to talk about a very satisfying moment? Ah, uh, isn't that just satisfying right there, man? Beautiful. Just wonderful. People love the truck. Well, yeah, I mostly love this car, too. I mean, my goodness. But yeah, Dale Jarrett and the UPS car, guys. Yeah, see the wheels are a little wonky right here. Um, like I said, you know, this is why these are all collectibles. A lot of small, fragile parts, guys. <laughs> so, you know, uh, fragile indeed. But this is a really cool die cast, guys. I have a big soft spot for this car. I mean, like I said, it's only a shame he only drove this car once. And it ended up, you know, it, the, the, like how the paint scheme is, like, in two flames. Not really, but you know what I mean. It, it just, he, he wrecked this some bitch up like it was nothing. But... I remember specifically driving this car. I believe it was like NASCAR Thunder 2002, if I'm not mistaken. Sweet Home Alabama's playing, and I was scrolling through the cars, and this one caught my eye, and I was just like, I think I, I think I was playing on the OG Xbox. Yeah, we're going all the way back to the old school, man. Oh goodness, thank goodness gracious! Did they ever remaster EA Sports NASCAR games? That'd be great, but uh, you know that would just be too easy. <laughs> uh but yeah i have so much nostalgia with this car guys hope you guys are as well um but you know for a lot of newer fans out there they might not really know too much about this car but i just say do your research and your history and you'll find some great looking cars like this that only raced once but really do love this car a lot guys this is a just, just a kick-ass paint scheme guys i mean dale jarrett I believe, I think, what, 2001 was his debut year with UPS, or maybe 2000, because I know in 1999, he won with the Ford uh, credit, uh, the Ford credit, um, what is he, yeah, the Ford credit uh, paint scheme that, you know, a lot of people should know, I mean, heck, I think even Danica did a throwback of that car, I would love to see a throwback of this, I mean, even though it's not really a significant car, but it just looks beautiful, man, I mean, if you guys could find this anywhere at your local diecast dealers, I highly recommend picking it up because it's just, it's one of those unique UPS schemes that we rarely see that much. I mean, this car just really stands out. I do like it a lot. So, anyways, guys, and by the way, it also has Winston Cup Series logos, which is fucking awesome. Because, <laughs> uh, heck, you know, I love them cigarettes. But anyways, guys, it's been OBB, the Diecast News Guy. Thank you guys for watching this Diecast review of the Dale Jarrett 2001 UPS. We want to race the truck. Hell yeah, we do. Four tours for Robert Eats Racing. Comment, subscribe, and this has been OBB. I'll catch you guys next time on hopefully some more of these classic Diecast reviews. And, uh, yeah, see you guys for now, everybody.